you're already to the title. Hello everybody, and welcome to Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. This game just came out, it came out last day actually, at night. I just downloaded it at night, and I decided to play it this day. So, yeah, I played the first season, only the first episode, and eh, it was okay. Like, it wasn't that bad. The sixth episode was good. It, it was absolutely good. Like, we have to see some famous YouTubers that love Minecraft play so much. Like, we have to see Captain Spargoat, LB Shadow Lady, and more. But uh, I just wanted to play this game as well, because it's a Telltale game. Right? I love Telltale games, like, right? they're my favorite. So, Just press continue. And like, why do I even need to do this kind of stuff? It's so stupid and dumb. And oh my god, I think I forgot to put the subtitles on. Shit! I forgot to put the subtitles on. Sorry, people. Maybe already when the game starts, I'm gonna put the subtitles on. And by the way, and if you want to see me play some old Telltale game, do this. I may put them on the voting poll if you want to meet me play those Telltale little games. Just broadcast it by the end of the face, and yeah, that's it. Now we just have to hit this. It's loading, like always, it always loads. Always like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing exciting will ever happen to them. I'm happy. That's why I love Telltale. This is what I love. Because every single Telltale game, they always put that in the front. is always touching the microphone. I'm sorry, people. Okay. Oh, God damn it. My lips. Jeez, stop getting... Why am I getting that close to the microphone? But I'm getting close because I'm afraid that you cannot hear me what I'm saying. Like...
those are kind of hero in this story. They started as a bunch of friends in a tree, looking up their idols for them. Disaster struck, and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world. Those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. Traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other, and working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. They were the most famous people in the whole world, and their legend, their fame, just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. And that how those my friends, you know, my plus the bravest I mean, pig shit. in the world, yeah, like took their place in history it's as some of the greatest the heroes who ever lived. Oh, they don't scream that much because they're so freaking annoying me, so... I just want them to stop. being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Although, not always technically accurate. Definitely exaggerated here and there, but it was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> Still not 
yeah, but it might make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. So? It's all fair game if it's helping you to tell a good story. It's not like you're lying to, like, trick anyone. Yeah. See, that's exactly what I thought. planning on including schematics, we should talk, though. I think I'm okay. I had been hoping to have it ready to read at Founding Day, but, uh, next year. I can't believe it's Founding Day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Thanks, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah, we were all there. For, uh, most of it, anyway. That's true. Um... Come on, guys. We all did it together. We're the Order of the Stone, after all. Is a good note, though. I'll keep that in mind when I'm editing. Oh, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, Lucas, sir, so sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, 
he is just adorable. Radar, don't be so formal. Cut it out with all the sir and ma'am stuff. Right, oh, right. Awesome. I kind of liked it. So, what's up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled? still have time for that and your founding day duties. Oh, nice. We should get going. Yeah. Uh about that. We've actually got our own founding day stuff we need to prep for. I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. And I. Oh, that's okay. I get it. You have your life, and so do I. Petra, I said, next time for sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the order hall with the order. Ah, <laughs> oh, so freaking cute.
Let's just do some freaking noise they cannot just leave fucking me alone. So they better shut up. Said next time for sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the Order Hall with the Order. <laughs> Freaking cute!